In today's video, you'll see some of my favorite gym workouts. than I wanted. Stop making noise. Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you've been here before, as always, welcome back. If you like what you see in this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to comment below and subscribe and share with all your friends and family. You may have seen a video I did a few months ago called How I Lost 55 Pounds, as well as a video I named How I Work Out at Home. I also did an unboxing of the Step 360. It was an unboxing and a demo. I also had a very special guest, Zumba instructor and life coach, Melissa Algoso. She was also on my channel a few weeks ago where she talked about empowering yourself and finding the inner strength to be a better and healthier you and me. As you can tell, I love fitness and I'm an advocate for health and wellness. I may not be a certified instructor or a health guru, but I know what I like and I know what's worked for me and I've seen the results and I am sharing these items with you. So during the week, I tend to switch off between the treadmill and the elliptical. And if I have time, then I like to get in an outdoor run as well. So after my cardio, I tend to focus on one muscle group. So if it's an upper body day, then I'll work on arms, back, shoulders, maybe upper torso. If it's lower body, then I'll work on legs, calves, waist, and so on and so forth. And then of course, every day is core day. So you incorporate your abs, your waist, upper torso crunches, leg raises, pelvic exercises, whatever it may be. Again, so here are some of my favorite exercises that I like to do at the gym. Hope you enjoy them. I typically like to start my workouts with cardio, about 25 to 30 minutes of cardio. And here I am on the elliptical, which is actually one of my favorite machines besides the treadmill. And during leg day, we start with the glute kickback machine. And here we're doing about 10 reps, somewhere between 10 and 12 reps actually. It works out the glute area and your legs and helps strengthen your legs. And then of course, what you do on the right, you also do on the left. So we typically do 10 to 12 reps on the left side as well. Again, working the glutes and strengthening your legs and giving you just a lot of power. During leg days, we also do leg presses and here we're doing between 10 to 12 reps and we typically try to go 70 to 80 pounds, um, not more than what we can handle just to kind of push ourselves a little bit. Also on leg day, we do hip flexors, and here we're working on the outer thighs. We do between 10 to 12 reps each time. And now we're going to switch over to the hip flexor inner thighs, and this would obviously work out the inner area of the thighs and be sure to do 10 to 12 reps to feel the full range of the exercise. Your legs and your thighs should start to burn a little bit and this is a good sign. One thing I forgot to mention is to be sure to do at least three sets of each of these exercises. And here is one of my favorite machines of all time. It is the seated cable row machine, which we use during arms and back day. And it really does work out your arms and your back, as you can see here. 
And when we work on core, this is one of my favorites. It's called the Slow Mo Mountain Climber. And here you'll bring your knee forward, lunge forward, and you bring your knee to the outer side of your elbow. It works out cardio and core. And here's another exercise that I enjoy a lot. It is called the plank. And if you do this somewhere between 20 to 30 seconds, you hold this position, you can truly feel it in your core. I also try to throw in a couple yoga moves in here once in a while. And here we're doing the downward facing dog. And we move forward into a forward plank or chaturanga where we lower ourselves down and into a cobra or mini cobra or prairie dog upward prairie dog and then you repeat a few times to feel the full effect in your entire body and to work out the kinks i use a roller well that's it everybody hope you enjoyed the video hope you found it to be motivating encouraging and inspiring so if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up Comment below and share with me some of the things that you like to do at the gym. And also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get notified anytime we upload a video. Thank you all again so much for stopping by and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Be sure to comment and like below. Hurry up and do this. Places to go, people to see. Things to, things to do, places to go, people to see, and a dog to start barking. Ooh.